Right, on your screen is some AJ training. Go on, AJ, give us those left hooks. Right. Um, <clears throat> let me clear my throat. Anthony Joshua, give a new retirement date as heavyweight legacy ambitions become clear. What will that reveal? What will it reveal in a minute? What what needs to become clear? Uh, Anthony Joshua could have just uh, two years left in his career. I don't know why I'm reading it like this. I'm trying to be like some sort of narrator. I'm just not. I'm just a bloody lower class scum from Britain. The Britain has reigned as a two-time heavyweight champion is now chasing a new world title shot with AJ in talks to face Daniel Dubois. Uh, for, I'm doing it again. <laughs> I can't even read it without being... Uh, I can't even read this without having to put on a voice. Um, he's now chasing a new world title with AJ in talks to face Daniel Dubois for the recent uh, for the recent for the vacant IBF title in September. This is awful. This is awful content that you didn't sign up for. Uh, I am sorry. Right, <laughs> Joshua is now 34 years old, but appears to uh, still be at his peak of his powers, particularly since lining up with new trainer Ben Davidson. Um, his long-term promoter, Eddie Hearn, believes Joshua could hang up his gloves at the back end of 2026 or even before, depending on results. I think maybe the end of 2026, Hearn said. Uh, if he wins in September and beats Fury to... If he wins in September and beats Fury or Usyk to become undisputed, uh, then what else to do? I don't know why you're saying uh, if he wins in September because... Um, Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant if he fights one of them two in September. Yeah, if he wins um, against Daniel Dubois in September, um, he's definitely in line for the shot at, um, at the the belts. But, I, I, okay, I, yeah, because the IBF, uh, that's what they're saying. They're going to be fighting for the IBF. Um, so the belt's being vacated, isn't it? Or has been. It was... Um, IBF, yeah, it's definitely IBF. I just wanted to make sure, clarify. Yeah, so the IBF's being vacated and uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel Dubar and um, Anthony Joshua are going to be fighting for it in September. Obviously, whoever wins um, then gets to fight probably Fury or Usyk. Um, I just don't know whether whether the crowd will want an AJ Usyk again. Um, I suppose it goes on his performance of Daniel Dubois. If he comes out and he's not looking great, but he wins by decision, but he, he, he ended up getting knocked down. And do you know what I mean? That The public's just not going to be behind him. If he comes out and knocks out Daniel Dubois in two rounds, um, I think there'll be a massive push for it. I think that um, a lot of people will be like, AJ's back on the back on the straight and narrow we got Femi back um if you don't know his, his nickname was Femi back from his days as a road man um as you say and um or or I'll say I don't know I, f I think that's what London has called themselves road men don't they um but yeah back in his day when he was doing a bit of dodgy dealings and all that anyway um he calls himself Femi and uh I do believe that that guy is coming back I like the Anthony Joshua that we've had over the last few fights um, I think he's definitely in a position where he can start, um, I, don't, I don't know whether dictating, but I believe if he gets the IBF and, and has a clear, decisive win over Daniel Dubois, I don't know who else there is in the heavyweight division for him. Hergovic is off the record now, Dubois beat him, so I just don't see anyone really... Um, you know, and we have to remember the Ngannou fight because, you know, okay, Ngannou's not a boxer, blah, blah, blah. But the truth of it is the the guy that ended up in the undisputed fight of the century, um, he he went 10 rounds with Dubois and got knocked down by Dubois. And AJ went and knocked him out in, in, in about a minute, didn't he? Was it? I'm sure it was a round one knockout. Just completely obliterated, knocked him. One of the worst knockouts I've seen. One of the heaviest knockouts I've seen in a long time. It was so concussive. Like in Garnu, just you know, in Garnu, they said, "Did it hurt?" And in Garnu said, how, "How would I know if it hurt? I was that cold?" Um, so yeah. So AJ retirement um, ain't gonna happen. Not in my opinion. AJ retirement not going to happen. Um, I think boxers get hungrier and hungrier. And uh, if you, if you're my age, forty, um, 
well, I'm 39, I'm 40 this year, you start coming to uh, realisations that your life is not as finite as what it once was. And I think that's slowly something that happens to boxers. You know, it, look at the amount of boxers that end up uh, huge, you know, drug addicts, um, etc. It happens all the time. Um, it, it, you know, a lot of boxers are good. There's, you know, it's 50-50, whatever, but it does happen enough. AJ, I don't know whether he'd be good for retirement or not. Um, I think AJ, there's a big deal, going back to Femi, coming from that lifestyle um, where he's, you know, doing that kind of stuff and he's now... Pulled, he pulled himself out of it. Um, even when he was in the Olympics, he got done for drugs and they was going to imprison him. Uh, they was going to sentence him. But I believe to do with the Olympics that he, he promised them that he wouldn't do it. And um, he went on the straight and narrow and sorted his life out. Now, it's a big, scary thing coming out of something that sorted your life out. Um, you know, in, in his head... Believe you me, I'm a recovering drug addict, so I know. Believe you me, there be parts of him that don't want to um, leave what saved him. That's the truth of it. So I don't. I think you're going to find resistance from AJ when he goes to retire. Not, you know, I, I just mean in his own internal battles, um, whether we know it or not. I just don't think he'll retire. Um, but I do think he'll retire on his shield. Do you know what I mean? I don't think he'll go into his later... That I don't mean that. I just mean that he'll probably retire or say that, you know, I think I might retire and then you'll keep hearing whispers of it, um, you know, over the next few years and then it'll go on and then another fight will come up and he won't want to miss... He won't want to let go just yet. And I think it'll probably go on till 38, 39. So that's my prediction. 38 years old that AJ will retire, not in two years' time when he's 36. 38 to 39, I reckon. Uh, but there you go. Retirement age is, um, like I said, 34 or whatever it was. He's 32 now. Oh, sorry, he's 34 now, isn't he? 34 now, um, and by the end of 26. So, what are we? 2024, 2025, 35, 2026, 36. Yeah, I don't think he's too young. See you later.